Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and as you guys know, I've been gone for four days. I'm so sorry. But I'm back now, and I'm ready to make more crafts. Okay, so, uh, what's the first craft? Okay, so for this one, we have another freaking tennis ball. Now, I don't really want this thing to hold my toothbrush, so I, I'm gonna use it a different way. But either way, I gotta put a slit in this thing. So I guess we just stab it. Uh, come on. Uh, this is so dangerous. That's so scary. It just bounces. What if I hit my finger? Oh my gosh, that's that's awful. Maybe scissors will do it? Okay, I did it. <laughs> it made a little fart sound. Come on, I need to cut you a new mouth. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay. Woo! Woo, it does it! Hello! Hello! Oh, you got some in your teeth there, buddy. Let's break out our hot glue gun. Okay, I'm gonna let this thing heat up. Okay, glue gun's all heated up. Now it's time to add some googly eyes. Uh, let's put water right there. Honestly, googly eyes just make everything better. Oh, glue gun fell down. Oops. Woo! I'm gonna let that dry on there for a sec. I'm gonna blow on it to try and make it dry faster. Hey! Why are you blowing on me? Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be on my way now. Nope, I have to drill you into my wall. Oh. A world built by imagination. Okay, are you ready? Open wide. Wait, wait, why? I just need to fit this in your mouth. What? I don't want it. Yeah. Come on. What is that? It's a screw with a bottle cap because I couldn't find a washer. What? Why are you doing that? Because I'm going to screw you into my wall. What? Okay, get in there. I, huh, it looks like it will be a lot easier if I make a hole in the back first. What? <gasps> okay, flip you over and here we go. Ah! I feel like that's not the right spot. You just drilled that hole for no reason? Yep, pretty much. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh no. Here you go. Ah! That wasn't so bad. Okay, now open wide again. Are you ready? Oh. Oh. Yeah, that one wasn't so bad either, I guess. How does it look? Uh, it looks pretty bad. Oh no. Well, here you go. Okay, now we're just gonna drill you to the wall. One, two, and open wide. Oh. There we go. Okay, and uh, now you're stuck there. Oh man. Okay, so what do I do now? Okay, so your job is uh, to hold this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, uh, oops. I guess we can say it works. Woo! Okay, so first we gotta get our ice cream. I got a rainbow fat free sherbet. Then we get our scooper. That looks very dirty, but it's not actually that dirty. I promise you. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Oh no, it's so hard to scoop this ice cream. It's garbage. What am I supposed to do with that? It's gonna go ahead and. Yep. Oh, now I gotta use my hands to get it out. Roast. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have picked a blue cup on this blue background. So the video we watched, they used a lighter. But if you guys know this channel at all, we don't do things that simple here. That's why we're breaking out the blowtorch. Yeah, I get the bottom of this spoon nice and hot. Oh yeah. This is gonna boil the ice cream when it touches it. Okay, that looks like it's hot enough. You can actually hear the ice cream boiling off the other side right now. Okay, now let's try this. You ready? Oh, perfect. You can actually see some of the steam coming off. There we go. So much better, except the ice cream's kind of melted. Now. And it only lasts for one scoop. Oh, actually, it's good for that scoop, too. And now it's hard again. So I guess we could kind of say this works. I think I'm going to go ahead and give this ice cream to Tori. Got to grab her a spoon. Get back in there. Perfect. Tori Nebraska. I got some rainbow ice cream for my rainbow girl. Is it actually safe to eat? No, yeah, it's safe to eat. I just scooped it on, with the flaming spoon. Really? Is it on fire? Does it taste good? Yeah. Hey, pretty good. It's already proved. You want some? It tastes good! I feed you from, my mouth. from your mouth? I don't know if uh, this is a family friendly channel. No, sorry, Tori. This is family friendly. No? Okay, I've got to shut this off. It looks like it's time to have some fun with some tennis balls. Oh, there's a little pop top. Whoa, that was scary! <laughs> oh, that's so dangerous. Why would you have that on there? Perfect! We got so many balls! <laughs> I got this cool tube I can keep them in later! I don't really need it right now though, so we're also gonna need some tape, get our balls, and then we just tape these bad boys together. So we gotta tape these balls together, just like that. You really gotta get in there with these balls. Go around like that. Oh my gosh, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Okay. Yeah, that looks like it'll hold it together. Now I got a perfect back massager. Let's try this bad boy out! Oh, okay, let's try to do some yoga, boys. Let me put our thing right here. I look so long. Okay, now I have to roll on it like like that. Oh yeah, that feels great. Oh, oh, 
It's all wrapped up in my shirt. Oh. <laughs> my shirt's choking me. That doesn't work out. What am I doing wrong? Okay. Oh. Ow, oh, this hurts. Ow. 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 Oh. I don't like this at all. Oh, okay. uh, I'll try it one more time for old time's sake, but so far, I'm not really liking this. Center of my spine, and then I'm just gonna, like a crab walk, but I'm rolling on my back. Yeah. Oh, oh! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can feel the knots popping. Are not supposed to pop. It's wrapped up in my shirt again. So my verdict is, I don't think that this works very well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that this failed! It bounces though. Okay, so we got our Pringles can. All we need really is the top though, so perfect. I uh, don't need these anymore. I already know so many of you guys are probably bad at me for doing that. Let's see how good these chips still are. Oh, that does not sound good at all. Yep, they're all broken. Oh, actually, I mean some are broken. I mean they still taste fine. Okay, so anyway, I wasn't sure what size mug to grab, so I grabbed every single mug in my house. So let's just start testing all these. Uh, no. Mm, uh, uh. Oh no. That's a no go. This one I already know is not gonna work. <laughs> What about this one? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, no, no. Okay, you're the last hope. It doesn't fit. What about this one? Nope. Okay, so out of all these mugs, this fits none of them. Okay, so now we're just gonna step on this ball and apparently it's gonna feel amazing. So here we go. Oh yeah, that's great. So it feels a little dangerous though. Maybe I should be holding something while I do this. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I'd say this is a great foot massage. Yeah, this isn't bad. I mean, if you're into that kind of thing. I'm gonna do the other foot. Yeah, sure, I, uh, I guess we can say this works. So this is one that I always wondered if it actually worked. I'm pretty sure it does, but I could be completely wrong. So we got our two warm monsters. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's warm with this thermometer. Perfect. Okay, so it says here that the monster can's 138 degrees. Is that a sticker? <laughs> it's a sticker! Okay, press the button. It's not working. What the heck? I think I broke it. Is the battery not incorrect? What the frick is going on? It turned on. <gasps> it's working! Woo! I got it to work! So it says here that I am... I'm gonna see if I have a fever. It's still going up. Almost there. 97.3 degrees. Oh man, that was actually kind of sharp. Okay, let's see what temperature these cans are. 84.2, 83.8. Maybe I have to open them up first. Well, this is a complete waste because it's 11 o'clock at night. What's this one at? 80.6. Okay, so we're gonna say they're both at about 80 degrees. Okay, get our water, get our towel thing. Okay, get that nice and wet. Now we're gonna put it on the monster can all around it. We're gonna do another one just for good measure. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and put these in my mini fridge. Okay, and the first one, and the second one. Okay guys, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer. Okay, five minutes. Okay, I'll see you guys then. Looks like we're good. Okay, how are we doing? Ooh, kind of cold to the touch. Not very cold to the touch. Okay, let's see how cold these are. Here we go. Ugh, okay, let's see how cold this bad boy is. Ooh, that's kind of cold. Also a little gross. Okay, so the one that didn't have a napkin on it is 75 degrees. So it went down five degrees. Uh, let's see how cold this one got. 74. <gasps> what? It went down nine degrees. Woo! So I guess we can say it works. What do I do with these monsters now? It's like 11 p.m. Oh well. Oh, that's a warm one. Oh yeah, that's better. Man, zip ties sure are a wonder, aren't they? Honestly, what can't they do? See this guy? This guy's uh, this guy's broken right here. So we're just gonna put that through, and uh, boom! We got ourselves a new thing. Except it slips right out. So what am I supposed to do with that? Uh, maybe get some pliers. Okay, come back. Got this. Ha ha! Woo! We now have a new zipper. So we're just gonna snip the tip, round that off a little bit. Yeah, I definitely don't feel like I'm gonna cut myself on this at all. We have to do the zip test. I guess we can say it works! Okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part where we regret the thumbnail! Woo! Okay, so we got our popsicle here. I couldn't find any that were like that cool of color. I'm pretty sure they photoshopped it or it's like some weird European brand of popsicle, but I couldn't find it. So I guess we'll just have to deal with this uh, red raspberry pop, right? Okay, so we got our glue gun. Okay, let's hope it doesn't melt it too fast. Okay, ready? One, two, and... I'm not sure exactly what this is supposed to do, but uh, I think it's working. Maybe something from that will do it. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today I got a new camera. Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? Just the quality looks so good. It's like, it 
to see everything in my face now. I think it's probably something only I can tell, uh, if I'm totally being honest. I don't know, I'm excited for it. Anyway, with new cameras comes new things with cameras, and I did something stupid today, uh, and it affected the video. You guys will see it later. Anyway, let's bring on the crafts! Okay, so we got our bowl, we got our cake mix, Coca-Cola, awesome, we got everything. Huh. So it really says to not add like eggs or anything. That's so weird. I would have thought you had to add eggs. Oh, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode, please don't explode. Be good. Okay, there we go. Now we add our cake mix. How the heck am I supposed to open this thing? Uh, uh, come on. There, haha. <laughs> There's actually a bag inside. Oops, can I... Oh man, I got that everywhere. Okay, get in there. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I should have gotten a bigger bowl. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more Coca-Cola. Should I be scared? Like, is this actually gonna explode on me? Yeah, I definitely should have gotten a bigger bowl for this. Okay, now let's break out our Mr. Tron 5000. Okay, this is definitely not a bad idea. Did I add too much Coke now? Oh my god. Okay, I'm getting another bowl. This is exactly why I don't like doing cooking videos, because I always have to do so many dishes afterwards. <gasps> I forgot to wash my hands. Oh my god, that's so gross. I'll be right back. Okay, hands are now nice and clean. Let's proceed with the transfer. Oh, I almost spilled that. That's scary. Let's put that over there. Uh, then let's mix it up. Oh, it's flying everywhere. Dude, this cake is just screaming diabetes to me. Just gonna put some more Coke in there, just for a good measure. I gotta say, this looks like very, very fluffy cake mix to me. Also, I don't have a cake pan, so it looks like we're making cupcakes. I also don't have any cupcake lighters, but uh, Google said that I can use this, and we'll be fine. So let's hope Google's right on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put a lot, that way I know that uh, it won't stick. Okay. Oh, that is very thick. My goodness. Here we go. Oh, I think I may have put a little bit too much oil in here. Oh my gosh, okay. Mix a trot 5000, I need your help. Oh, that works so well, actually. Come on, get out of there. Something tells me that this is an awful idea. Mmm, tastes pretty good. Should I actually make the other half? Oh, why not? I need to finish mixing all this stuff then. I'm making such a mess. Okay. Spray the other side. Yep, these cupcakes are definitely gonna taste like oil. Oh my gosh. I use so much oil. Come on, get out of there. Don't be scared. Okay, it looks good. What's it say? I gotta preheat the oven too. So we have pan size and bake time. Um, it doesn't say, <gasps> there's one for cupcakes. Oh my gosh, I'm not that dumb. Okay, uh, 18 to 21 minutes. I like how it was like, do all this stuff. And we're like, nah, we got Coke, it's fine. I just need to see what I'm supposed to preheat my oven to. 350 degrees. I should have known, that's a standard. Okay, 350. Now let's grab our cupcakes. Toss that in there. Well, I guess I'll see you guys in uh, 18 minutes. Oh no, I'm supposed to wait to heat up the oven first. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, I'll see you guys in like 20 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of the oven. Oh, did I burn them? Oh man. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and let these cool down a little bit and uh, we'll see if they're any good. Hey Chris, you want a cupcake? Sure. How's it taste? Not bad, actually. It doesn't have any eggs or milk in it. All right. That's literally just Coke. It, it like, doesn't taste bad. No, I like it. Pretty good, man. So, you think it works? I guess we could say it works. Okay, so here is my headlight. As you can see, it's pretty foggy. See, pretty freaking foggy. Now we're just gonna add our magic Coca-Cola and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Please don't explode, please don't explode, please don't explode. <laughs> don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Okay, cool, we're good. They did it just like this. Oh my gosh, it actually looks like it's getting clearer. What? How? How? No way. That, no freaking way. What? Let's do it before. And this is after. Dude. Okay, so it looks a lot clearer to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it works! Okay, so I feel like this one's actually kind of wasteful, but uh, here's our fire pit. Let's set a fire, boys! Now we gotta set the fire. Can we light it? Is it gonna light? Why isn't it lighting? Is this water or something? Is, is there supposed to be a big dramatic like boom? Oh wow, actually yeah, that is getting pretty big. We better put it out! Oh, oh. oh man, okay. Ah. Okay guys, we better put it out! Oh. That got all over me. Ah. Okay, that shouldn't be burning. I mean it put out the fire, so I guess we can say it works!
Okay guys, so for the whole second half of the video, I forgot to plug in the microphone all the way, so I have no audio from this whole video. And I already recorded the whole thing, so I'm not gonna record the whole freaking thing again, you understand? Anyway, I went ahead and I spent $20 on candles, so I already freaking did this video, and I can't refilm it, so uh, here's a freaking $20 candle. So we're gonna try to get the wax out of this jar uh, using this knife. Oh man, this is definitely gonna take so freaking long. Well, uh, I guess just enjoy me trying to get the wax out of this jar for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't even know, dude. Oh look, surprise, surprise, I broke the jar. Well, uh, I guess there's nothing else to do besides uh, break it even more. Maybe I could get some of the candle wax out just by hitting the back of it. Bobby, what the heck were you thinking there? Okay, now it's time to Hulk smash. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Oh no, I broke the tip of my knife. That's what I get for freaking stabbing glass. That's such a stupid thing for me to do. Uh, okay, let's break this thing open. Hulk smash! Smash, smash. Come on. Uh, open up. I need it to freaking open up. Smash! Okay, that didn't work. You got this candle. Oh my gosh, this looks so weird. It looks kind of cool though. Uh, I gotta get this wick out somehow. Okay, now what the heck am I supposed to do with this glass? I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the little wick out. Uh, there we go. Slides out nice and easy. And we have ourselves a wick, a very blurry wick. I'm actually gonna use the wick from this candle. Um, so I just have to try and break this thing open. Come on, you could just gotta break it. Just uh, snap. Come on, get out of there. Just, oh, there we go. Broke open that candle. And now we have ourselves a nice wick that we could use for later. And also all this extra candle wax. Now we have all of our melted wax. Okay, here we go. And now we gotta melt it. So just for this occasion, I knew that it was gonna take a long time for this wax to melt. So I brought out my blow torch. Yeah, just melt the wax just like that. We're melting it for both ends. It's gonna melt in no time. Melting, 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 melting. You guys like my voiceover? I'm sorry my voice is so annoying. I wish that I had a better voice so that I could voice over things better. But, you know, I just don't know how to react to things that have already happened. Like, none of this is surprising to me. Like we got our wax all melted down. It's looking pretty good. That looks like some pretty freaking melted wax. And uh, it is getting all fogged up in my lens. Great, that's just great. Let's go ahead and try and add the wick. Let's put it in there just like that. Now we're gonna put all the wax in the bottle. Let's hope I don't drop this on myself. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh man, this is getting everywhere. Oh, oh, it shrank. Oh no. Okay, so since it shrank, I guess I'll just dump all the uh, stuff that we put in it back in there. Oh no, it's bubbling. It's bubbling. It's bubbling. This was actually really scary because it was just popping everywhere. The wax was literally popping everywhere. Do you see that? You freaking see that? That is so scary. It's like bubbling tar. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and let this cool down for a little bit and then we're gonna try it again. Okay, so it turns out that uh, you're supposed to actually put the wick in afterwards after watching the video. I feel kind of like a dumb boy now. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. But first we're gonna put the wax inside this bottle now that it's cooled down a little bit. Put some of this wax in here. Oh no, it looks like it's doing it again. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Yeah, that's definitely melting the bottom of it. Oh, man. Oh, no. Are we just gonna go all in? Is this the one where I go all in? I forget. I think it is. I think this is the one where I went all in. As you can see, uh, it melted the whole bottom and now it just kind of shrank up. So, uh, I definitely think I'm gonna have to try this one again. As you can see, I was very frustrated because I had to do this three times and I freaking lost all the audio. So, we're just gonna pour that back in there and uh, we're gonna try it again once it cools a little bit more. God, this bottle's so hot. Yep, that's a very hot bottle. Just melted the bottom. Okay, now it's our third attempt. Let's see if we can get it right this time. We're gonna go ahead and pour the wax in. I've let it cool for about half an hour now, so I don't think that the wax is gonna be so hot that it's gonna melt the bottle. So we're gonna keep going, keep going. Oh, so far so good. It's looking good, looking good, looking good. Yep, this is the one where I go all in. Keep going. Oh my gosh, it's almost there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Do you believe that this black stuff is wax? That's so weird. It doesn't look like real stuff. We're almost at the top. We're so close. Close. That actually kind of looks like real coke. That's kind of scary. Almost, almost, and top it off, and boom! Woo! It didn't melt the bottle. Now it's time to add the wick. Just put that in there and drop it in. And this is where I kind of freaked out because I didn't have anything to hold the wick. 
<laughs> so I ended up using these skewers that will rubber band together from another video that I did, and then I broke them off, that way they weren't super long. And I just kinda let the wick uh, chill there. And that was that. So now we're just gonna let it cool down for a little bit. Okay, so we let it cool, and it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty solid. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the wrapper off, just like this. Use an X-Acto knife, cut that off. <laughs> okay, now for the real fun part. I get to cut this plastic off without cutting off a finger. Okay, so we make the first incision. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. And the plastic is kind of tougher than I thought. I'm gonna grab a different knife. So here's a different knife, and we're gonna do some surgery here. Woo! Cut down the middle. Keep cutting. Keep pulling. Woo! And we're free! Woo! Oh my gosh, look how good this turned out. It looks like an actual bottle of Coke. Does that fit back on? Nope, kind of, yeah. Wow, this turned out a lot better than I thought it did. It looks like I can't really fit the bottle cap on though, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. We're gonna be lighting this on fire anyway. Let's go ahead and put the wrapper back on. Wow! This actually looks like a real Coke bottle. Wow, this just turned out really good. So I guess we're gonna say it works! Okay, so I've actually done this one before, but I'm pretty sure I used the wrong kind of chocolate. So this time, we're gonna go ahead and use multiple chocolate. Um, this is actually baking chocolate, as it says right there. I I'm pretty confident it's actually gonna work this time. Okay, so we got our boiling water. Let's put the pan inside so we don't actually burn the chocolate. Then we just go ahead and drop some of this chocolate in there. This chocolate was actually kinda harder to break than I thought. Uh, look at that. I'm actually struggling to do this. It's like, boom, these are such big pieces of chocolate. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and wait for these to melt a little bit. Put another one in there for just for safety. There you go. Wow, look how freaking glorious this looks. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, and this looks like it's fully melted and uh, all good to go. As you can tell by my voice not being in sync, uh, I had problems with the microphone still, so... Uh, Here's me saying a bunch of words. I forgot what I said. I walked away from the camera, and now the Coke bottle's all by itself. Yay. Okay, so here's me uh, putting the chocolate in the Coke bottle. Looks like it's going in pretty easily. Not bad, there's a lot of chocolate in there. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix it all up in the bottle, um, make sure it hits all the surfaces. And it's, uh, it, it, it looks like it's, it's going pretty evenly. It kind of scared me how the chocolate had different colors all around it. It kind of marbled a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. I ended up just kind of moving the chocolate around uh, for like 10 minutes uh, because I wanted to make sure that it was spread evenly and it didn't just have a giant clump of chocolate in the middle. Okay, and uh, this is right where I put it in the fridge. So I will see you guys in about an hour. Okay, and uh, the audio is back. Man, I feel so dumb for not plugging my microphone in all the way. Oh my God. Okay, so it's nice and frozen. Now time to cut this baby out. Here we go. Maybe if I open the cap first. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's definitely solid chocolate. Okay, now cut it like this. Keep going. Is that gonna cut it out? Is that cut out? I believe in you, chocolate. You can escape. Come on, keep going. Come on, be free. I'm trying really hard not to break the chocolate at all. I'm pretty sure it's already way better than Tori's. No offense to Tori. I know she can hear me right now. Oh, it came off! Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's not bad so far. It's almost out. You can do it. Please don't break on me. Please don't break on me. And... Woo! We got it! It is free! I got chocolate all over my hands now, but it's fine. It is good. Oh my gosh. Let's put the little cap on that. <laughs> it looks a little funny with the cap on, but it looks like it's actually working. I put the label on. Aha! I need some tape. Okay, tape this on. Oh my gosh. I did it! I got a freaking Coke bottle made out of chocolate! I did it! I don't think it's hollow though. Uh, that might be a big problem. So we're just gonna cut the tip off and see if that will fix anything. Oh, sick! It's actually hollow inside. That looks a little, uh, nope, it still looks weird. Mmm, <laughs> not bad. Some good chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and try and put some of these M&Ms in there. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna have to do one at a time. Oh, no. These M&Ms actually say Robbie Epic Sauce and Tori on them. Thank you so much to the person who gave these to me. You know who you are. Okay, it's gonna take a while to put them in one at a time, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. Oh, man. Dude, they are so, this is gonna take so long. Okay guys, now it's time to show Tori. <laughs> Tori, come check out this thing that I did that you couldn't do. I'm such 
a good boyfriend. I don't. Twitter Bransky. Twitter Bransky. Look at what I did. You actually did it. Right? I did it. I actually made it. Oh my god, that's so cool. It turned out so good. I know. Who would have thought actually using the proper chocolate for it? <laughs> It turned out so nice. Aww. Isn't that so cool? That's so cool. You actually filled it with all. And I filled it with little Evan Ups. You even filled it with it. Do you want to break it open? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna film you break it. I'm sorry. I, I don't. I really don't want to break it open though. It looks so cool. How about I give you a little hammer? Here you go to break it open. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's okay. Sorry. Okay, it's dead, Tori. Hey, it's dead. Stop! You're, you, you're killing him. You're killing him. He's already dead. This is really fun, though. I really like it. You like my shirt? Hey, that's my shirt. You guys can buy that shirt down in the description down below if you guys really want one. By the way, it's good chocolate. Yeah, it's pretty good. I approve. You guys, you can say it works. Okay, guys. Now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we recreate the thumbnail. Woo! Man, my hands are so covered in chocolate right now. <laughs> so it looks like they started out with a Coke bottle and then uh, they kind of just got a bunch of rubber bands and put them around it. I don't know if I can do this one, it looks so hard. No, I'm just kidding, but uh, yeah. <laughs> they put a lot of rubber bands on this, so I'm gonna be a sec, I think. Ow! Okay, that looks pretty good so far. Now we're gonna add some Coke to it. Ah, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. I'm really not understanding the point of this whole thing, but it's fine. Is there any real point to any of the thumbnails from 5 Minute Crafts? <gasps> oh no! Is there a hole in this? Oh my god, it's just leaking everywhere. Okay, I never want to see another Coke product again. I've drank so much Coke today. You know what time it is? Time to get back to work. Yup, it's time to make some crafts. Okay, so it looks like we're starting out with some soap. Now we gotta start cutting this baby out. Ugh. Oh no, that doesn't look right. Uh. Okay. I'm trying, okay guys? I really am trying. It's not really coming out as clean crystal-like as it was in the video. So now we got our soap parts. Let's throw these in this cup. Yeah, sure. I'm sure that, that works. Now to melt down our soap base. Okay, now how the heck am I supposed to put this in here? Maybe I should have opened the package before I turned on the stove. Of course not. That would have been a smart thing to do. Oh man, this is so slippery. Well, I mean, I guess it is soap. How the heck do I break this open? Oh man. Oh. Ah! Uh, maybe that'll work. Maybe a little bit less. Come on, break on the table. Oh. I'm getting soap all over my camera now. Well, I mean, at least it's getting clean. Oh. I found a knife. Oh my god, that is so much easier. I should have done this from the beginning. Oh, okay, we got my soap cubes. Do this again. Okay. Start throwing our soap cubes in there. I should have really read the instructions first. Remove soap from container, pull sides from the soap, air seal, invert, depress base. Okay, what? 30 seconds on high, 10 second intervals needed. Oh, in the microwave? Oh no! I wasn't supposed to boil this? I mean, it's working, so does it really matter? Is soap explosive? Caution, melted soap is hot. Well, no freaking duh! Cooking it like Jiffy Pop. I really should have grabbed something to mix this. Oh well. Okay, it's almost completely clear now. I just have a couple little chunks left in there. Ooh. Everything's so slippery now. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, now time to pour this in our mold. Okay, here's our base. Ooh, oh no! It's boiling over, it's boiling over. Please don't melt the cup. Please don't melt the cup. I feel like it's still gonna melt the cup. 
There we go. <gasps> it's melting the cup. It's melting the cup. Oh no. Oh no. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Do I just leave it? Do I just leave it? I'm gonna go get another cup. Oh my god. Here's another cup. Just in case it melts all the way through the cup. We have backups. We have backups on our backups. I put two extra cups on here. Okay, now I have soap all over my countertop. Well, I mean, at least I don't have to use soap to clean it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, while I'm cleaning this, I'm gonna let this dry. I will see you guys in 40 minutes. Okay. Ah! Okay, it's all cooled down. Now time to cut this bad boy open. Dude, look how much that melted the cup. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're just gonna cut this bad boy. Whoop! Whoa! Okay, that actually kind of looks cool. This part doesn't look cool, but this part looks cool. Okay, now let's cut it into a crystal shape, shall we? Ooh, there we go. Okay, wow! Okay, so I guess uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it works! This is my new soap now. I'm going to use this to clean myself. Okay, so this one looks pretty simple. All we gotta do is grab some clay. Just uh, gotta grab a big old chunk of it right there. Let's make a big one of these. Just make it big like this. There you go. Yeah, okay. And we're gonna roll into a ball. Oh man, how did I forget how to roll something into a ball? Am I doing this right? I'm pretty sure. Rolling, 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 rolling. Okay, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Not bad, not bad. It's like a little dough ball, like a little pizza dough ball. And then we just gotta put it in like that. Just do a bunch of these. Like one right there, one right there, one right there. Okay, there's another one. And and another one, and another one. Is this enough? I feel like it's just gonna tighten when it's drying, so I'm kinda making them a little bit looser than they're supposed to be. I think that's how clay works, right? Yeah, that looks pretty good. I feel like I should decorate this with something. I think it needs some glitter. Okay, just get this glitter, and how do I? Okay, so I need to pop this thing open. Come on. Uh, uh, Why is it not popping open? Okay, now I need you to open. Uh, uh, that was way harder to open than I thought it would be. Oh! I feel so dumb. It's because there was this thing on it. Oops. Okay. I uh, got that figured out. Now put some sprinkles on it. Yeah. Okay, this is looking less cool than I thought it was going to be. Maybe I should redo this whole thing. No, you know what? That's too much work. We're fine. So now we have this. Get all this stuff out of here. Okay, and then we're gonna cut the random parts off like that. Okay, there's another one right there. I'm not sure what the point of this is, but you know, it's fine. Probably just to hold your pens. We're gonna remake these holes because I feel like these are not coming out correct. This doesn't look as cool as it did before. Wait, how did I come up with two new holes? Okay, something's wrong here. I'm remaking this thing. Get in here, other clay. Starting from square one. Got one here. Got one here. Got another one here. Here's another one. Cool, cool. And the last one. Make sure all these can escape. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry now. This is actually air dry clay, not baking clay. Uh, it says right there, no baking. Dries hard. So I'm gonna trust your word on this Crayola. And I will see you guys when uh, this is all dry. Okay, here we go. Um, it seems to be... Pretty dry. Now, I'm gonna pull these out. Woo, they're not stuck. Okay, that kind of looks cool. Now we got a little pen holder. Okay, dude, sick. Pretty hard, pretty rock solid, if I do say so myself. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this works. So it looks like the first thing we need is some cardboard. Oh yeah, that should do. I need to cut a circle. Ugh. Oh man. Come on. Woo! Okay, we got our circle. Don't need this. Oh, there we go. We're supposed to put a little hole in the middle. There's our hole. And it looks like we need eight slits here. So one, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, and eight. Okay, cut this weird little part off. There we go. Okay, we got eight slits now. It looks great. This is exactly how it is. Okay, I found my string. We're just gonna take some of this out right now. Let's choose uh, three of the best colors. So we got pink, we got blue, and yellow. You guys seem to really like these colors, so uh, that's what we're doing right here. Oh wait, I need eight colors. Oops. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else can we do? We could put some red in there maybe. Some orange maybe? Ooh, this blue looks pretty. Let's do this blue. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I need one more color. Seven. Okay, so seven colors. So this right here. Do -do -do -do. So one right here, one right here. Oh, no. This string's all messed up. Oh, man, what did I do wrong? This is gonna take forever. Okay, we got that one. So, one, two, three. Now for our pink. Four. Uh, okay, we got all of our colors. Putting all these bad boys together. Okay, it's looking good. This kind of looks just like a big cluster of colors right now, but that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten all these up. Put it through the 
this hole. Here we go. I don't know how long I'm supposed to do this. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it like right here. Okay, now where the heck did my tape go? Okay, let's go ahead and tape this. Boop -a boop And there we go. It's all taped. One is going here. Another one's going here. And now we're gonna put this one here. And this is gonna take so freaking long. And then we have one open right here. So apparently we're just supposed to pull this one and then put it into the new one. And then we go over to this one and then we put it in the new one. And we just keep doing this until it's all filled up. This is gonna take so freaking long. I'm just gonna do a time lapse of me doing this because this is probably gonna take hours if I'm being totally honest. Here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, it looks like I gotta pull this over a little bit. Boop, 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 So this is what it's looking like so far on the bottom. I'm feeling like I didn't quite do this right. Well, better keep going. Am I doing this right? Oh, I just noticed I'm supposed to do twos, not every other one. So I'm supposed to grab it from over here and put it over here. Oh no, I have to start all over. <gasps> That's why this doesn't look very good. Just snip that off. Luckily, this is as far as I got before I noticed. Well, time to start all over. Okay, so every other one. So one, two, right here. One, two, right here. One, two, right here. Okay, yeah, that's definitely already starting to look better. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, making some progress here. So close to being able to fit around my wrist. So I gotta keep going. It's getting kind of hard because these are getting kind of short. Oh no, come back. Okay, this thing's starting to fall apart, so I'm guessing this means that it's about done. Maybe like that. Aha! And we got our bracelet! Now I just gotta figure out how to tie this onto my wrist. Okay, how the heck am I gonna do this? Um, hmm. just kinda tie it on like that, maybe? I should've left more on this side, I think. Maybe like that, and then I'll try to fit my hand into there. Put this thing into there. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so I had to use my teeth, but I think I got it! Okay, that is very loose. I think it would've looked a little better if I tied this bad boy. Maybe I'll just cut it. Boop. There we go! And we got ourselves a brand new bracelet! Well, I guess we can say it Works. Okay, guys, now it's everyone's favorite part where we recreate the thumbnail! Woo! So I'm not exactly sure what exactly this is supposed to be. It kind of looks like ice, but I feel like it would be kind of hard to make like an ice knife. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a mold that I'm gonna make out of clay. Yeah, there we go. Kind of shape it. And then I gotta make this mold into this. Oh boy. Oh, that's scary. Okay, now we're gonna take our rolling pin. Just kind of do that. Ugh. So one like that, probably cut this right here. Cool, cool. This has gotta be the top. Oh, okay. This is our bottom. Perfect, our knife is gonna fit. Okay, now just gonna press the knife into there so that we get a mold just like that. No, it came off. What did I do wrong? Maybe I'm supposed to wrap this in flour or something. Do I have any flour? I don't have any flour, but I have baking soda and I guess that's kind of close enough. Yeah, I feel like that'll totally work. So we're just gonna spread it all over there. Maybe like put it all over this. I don't know if baking soda is the right thing to use. Push it down. There we go. And please don't stick, please don't stick, please don't stick. Okay, that looks good enough. Does it though? I don't I don't know. Now we got our outline of our knife. Perfect. Now since I have so much clear soap, I'm gonna go ahead and try and fill this with the soap and basically make a soap knife. Okay, we got our molten soap and now we're just gonna pour it in here. Here we go. Okay. Now I just gotta let, Ooh. oh no, I put way too much. Oh man. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool off and uh, we'll see if it works. Okay, we've given this some time to cool. Uh, let's see if we can get this out without breaking it now. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut away all the extra clay. Looking good so far. Okay, now I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this part. Um, maybe if I flip it over. Is it working? Oh man. I'm starting to think maybe I should have actually used flour. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh, man. Okay. Still kind of keeping it shade. How is this sticking to soap so freaking well? Okay. Not bad. I just have to keep cleaning this stuff off, I guess. Uh, <laughs> you cut this like that. This is gonna take a long time. Oh man. I just have a freaking knife made out of soap now. It's covered in clay. I'm scared to put water on this because then I know that the soap will like disintegrate. Maybe if I use a popsicle stick? This is taking so freaking long. Okay, and here is our freaking soap knife. I feel like I should wash it down just a little bit. Maybe this'll do it. It's very, very flimsy. I don't think I could stab anything with this. Okay, I'm gonna go wash this off a little bit. I will be right back. Okay, and here's our soap knife. It's a little bit wet, drying it off. There we go. This is kind of crazy. Look how well it turned out. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, my hands are so wet. Okay, uh, maybe something like that. There we go. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we are making a 1 million subscriber plaque. I know YouTube already usually sends these out to people who hit 1 million, but uh, apparently they don't 
don't really do that for everyone anymore. I even emailed them and I asked, yo, where the heck's my plaque? Very politely, I asked them very politely. And they sent me a reply basically saying that not everyone gets a plaque anymore. And that's fine, you know what? Because uh, I'm not entitled to anything, you know? No one's entitled to anything in this world. And that's why we're making our own today. Okay, so first we're gonna cut out our frame. So. I found these pieces of wood on the side of the road, and uh, in my opinion, it's better to recycle things, so that's what we're gonna do. I actually already pre-measured the glass for this. That's what these two marks are. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them, but first I need to hold this down somehow. How am I ever gonna do this? Okay, there we go. Grab my handy dandy table saw that has no battery in it. Let's go take it out of this guy. I gotta wear eyeglasses. Always wear safety first. Okay, we're good to go. And that was the other piece of board. Okay, one down. Sand this down a little bit. Okay, now I gotta measure it this way. This is proving to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Come on. Uh -huh, I got it. I gotta cut this piece. Toy to Bradsky. I gotta cut this piece. Woo, we did it. Okay, now I need to make this the same size. There we go. Where the heck did my sander go? Oh, here it is. Found it. Go. Oh yeah, now let's uh, line up the frame. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the naughty parts on the bottom. Yeah, You're a bad yeah. boy. And it looks like it lines up perfectly. Well, as perfect as I'm gonna get it. Yep, good enough. Okay. Oh, I might be able to use that for later. Whew, there we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and put a screw in there. Do I have any more? I'm kinda low on screws, but I might have enough. Side one's good. Now let's do this side. I think I'm gonna go ahead and brace it down this time. Here we go. Next one. Cool, cool. It looks like this one isn't quite even, so I guess I'm gonna have to sand it down a little bit. Did it just die? Oh, dang it, it just died. Well, I mean, it's a little better. That's not bad. Okay. Strap this bad boy down. And this bad boy. Flip her over. Here we go. And this is my last frickin' screw. How lucky am I? There we go. Okay, we have ourselves a proper frame. I think it might be a little uneven. Let me check this. No, yeah, everything seems to be fine. I think it'll be fine. Now time to start on the actual play button. Okay, so we're just gonna start out with this big clump of clay right here. It already seems to be kind of in the right shape that we want, but we need to get rid of all these stupid lines. Yeah. I've never really molded clay before, so this is interesting. Wow. Actually, I lied. I took a pottery class in college. You know, the one semester that I took, and I ended up failing all my classes. Stay in school, kids. Or don't. If it's something you don't want to do, then don't do it. Yeah, just kind of make the general shape. Maybe use this knife to help me. Oh, that is covered in weird stuff. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna take this thing off because I feel like I'm just gonna break the handles off. There we go. Is this even the right shape? I need a reference. So here's my first 100,000 subscriber plaque. Uh, I actually have three of these because I have three channels with over 100,000 subscribers. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of leave that as a reference. So it looks like it's a lot more flat. So flatten it up. Oh. Flatten this bad boy. Oh my gosh, this is so much work. Holy crap. Okay, cool. Yeah, it looks good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my X-Acto knife kit. Okay, yeah, this looks like a good one. It's like I'm doing brain surgery right now. Pull all this stuff away. I'm starting to think I should have watched like a clay tutorial or something before I did this. But you know, this is half the fun of not knowing what to do. Kind of use this handle, push it up a little bit, kind of mold the sides. Yeah, looking pretty good. There we go. Now we have a nice little perfect square play button. Just gonna go ahead and put this off to the side for a second. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the triangle thingy. Here we go. Ooh, maybe I should have washed this off first because now the clay's kind of red. Oops, you can barely even see this on the paper. Okay, now I gotta try and make a little triangle. Will that do it? I don't know. I kind of like it a little bit sharper, I think. Okay, let's see how that looks. Aha, not bad. Okay, and here's our play button. I think it looks pretty good. Now I gotta bake this bad boy. Okay, then it said 275 for about 15 minutes. Okay, if you're good, I'll let you out. 12 seconds later. Oh no, what did I say? You don't look like you're being very good to me. Why are you bubbling like that? Oh boy, I said it too hot. Oh no. Okay, I'm definitely thinking that I did this wrong. I think it's because I bought two different types of clay, so this one actually baked properly, but this one's like melting. <laughs> oh no, what do I even do now? I guess, uh, I gotta work with what I got. Okay, and I decided to use like a pegboard as the backdrop for this bad boy. So I'm gonna put that on here and match it up with the frame. Uh, here we go. Good, good. Woo, okay, there we go. And it looks like it fits pretty good. Now I'm actually gonna paint this bad boy. Here we go. And I gotta mix this paint up. 
put out a little cardboard. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this a nice gray. Ooh, I kinda like that. It looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna set this aside to dry. Now we gotta do our frame. I went out and bought some chalky paint because I thought that would look really nice for the frame. Oh wait, I painted the wrong side. This is the not side. Oops. You know, before I was a YouTuber, I was actually a painter. Last side, I think. Oh no, I forgot this side. I guess this is the last side. <laughs> Looking pretty good. Well, now I just have to wait for this to dry, I guess. Oh man, the back's all messed up. Now I gotta paint these bad boys. Okay, get some paint. There we go. Paint, paint, paint. Okay, now I gotta let these bad boys dry. Okay, and I completely forgot about these guys. Oops. Okay. Get some more paint. Ba -do -ba -do. Okay, cool. They're all good. Awesome, now I gotta let these dry. Okay, so the reason that I got new clay is because this is actually animation clay, so it's never going to harden. I think I put this in the oven for like an hour, and it's still so crumbly. Look it, I can even mold it back together. This is literally animation clay. I feel so dumb. Except for this white part. This white part was the correct clay. I did the right correct clay for this. So, we gotta start from square one. I haven't made sure it's the right clay. See, it says bake for 275 for 15 minutes. Now I gotta unwrap all these bad boys. Okay, I think this should be enough clay. So now I gotta mold it all together. Oh, oh gosh! This clay's a lot harder than the other one. Gotta beat it all together. Gotta mold it to be one. Oh my gosh. Why is this clay so much harder? Ugh. Okay, this is gonna take a while. Oh, here we go, let's try this. Oh my gosh. This is so tiring. Okay, and it's looking pretty good. Now I gotta work on cutting the proper shape again. Here's my second 100,000 subscriber plaque. Yeah, that's looking pretty similar. Now we gotta make the white play button. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and put this right here. It looks about center. Gonna push that in a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's pop this bad boy in the oven. 275. Okay, be good and I'll light you out. Okay, so while that thing's doing its thing, we're gonna go ahead and do our thing and uh, screw this frame together. Should we screw it together? I don't know. Well, right now seems like a perfect time for me to go ahead and put the front glass on. See, here's the glass that we're gonna be putting on here. And since I'm not sure how else I put it on, I'm gonna go ahead and use hot glue. I really hope the hot glue doesn't like crack the glass. This is probably an awful idea in retrospect, but you know, it's fine. Gotta wait for this to heat up. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this frame on. Okay, here's the back of the frame. It's beautiful, I know. It's lovely. Here are five eighth screws. There we go. I probably put in way more screws than I actually needed, but it's fine. Sweet. Now this is what our frame looks like. Cool, dude. Now we're just waiting for our little uh, placky thing. Okay, and it's looking like this bad boy's all done. Oh my god, this turned out so much better than the last one. Wow. I wonder if it's done. Probably shouldn't touch it. I feel like I should leave it in longer, but it looks really good. We're gonna go ahead and let that cool while we do our next thing. Okay, here we go. I feel like this piece of wood is kind of like lopsided. That looks a little bit better. Oh yeah. Put this right here. But first we gotta write on it. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Pencil. I have to look up to see what the 1 million subscriber play button says. It says, congratulations for surpassing 1 million subscribers. Oh boy, this is a lot of stuff I can misspell. I also got these stencil things. I already misspelled it. Dang it, how do I fix this? I wonder if an eraser will get rid of permanent marker. Oh, it's kind of working. Uh, Dang it, how could I mess up like this? Well, I guess we'll start on the other side. I knew I should have done this in pencil. You know what? I'm just gonna write it out. Oh man. This makes such a mess. Like what even is this pink stuff? I know it's a racer, okay? I know. I'm not dumb. I just can't spell. I feel like that looks way too long for congratulations. Okay. Cool. I could just cut this part out over here. It's fine. Make it a little bit less lopsided later. Okay, now it's time to test out my new wood burner. Okay, put that on there. Why is this so difficult to put on? Okay. I'm guessing that's on. Now I gotta wait for this to heat up. Okay, here we go. Let's hope I don't mess this up. Woo! Just burned myself. In two seconds. That was real fast. Oh, that came off. That's kind of scary. I'm not really digging how this wood burning is coming out. I don't even know what to do. Okay, maybe this Dremel kit will do something. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Which one should I use? I'll try this one. I feel like this one should do something. I'm starting to think that this wood in general just kind of sucks. You know what? We're just gonna use some cardboard, okay? There we go. It's perfect. I can do better. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and write it on this. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna even it out a little bit by cutting this side off. There we go. Yeah, that looks about right. 
Okay. That's all glued on there. Now we need the final piece. Okay, and here it is. Wow, that actually turned out pretty good. Uh, it's actually solid. It's not squishy like the last one. I think we did it right this time. So maybe like right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I just gotta add the glass. Just gonna put hot glue all on the edges right here. I really hope that the heat doesn't crack it. Oh my gosh. Not bad. Now let's put the finishing frame on it. Hello, Craft Plan. One more thing I forgot to mention. I made it so that it lights up now. How cool is this? Wow. You can also do different colors. We got blue. We got uh, more blue. We got red. Ooh, the red looks nice. Yellow. Orange. That's not orange. What the heck? I kind of like it, though. I think this one fits it the best. Dude, that looks so sick. I'm so proud of myself. Wow, look at how beautiful it is. It's over there. Woo, that's Hey, guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and we got on trending. Woo! We got on trending. We got on trending. I never thought I'd be on trending. Not in a million years. But we did it. We freaking did it. Us and our crafts. Anyway, guys, let's see if we can get this video on trending. Probably not. Now that I said it, they're going to be like, oh, nope, he's not going to get on trending because he said something about it. Love you, YouTube. <laughs> anyway, let's do some crafts. So here's our marker, here's our tape, here's our phone. Let's begin. Flip this bad boy over. We're gonna put this over the flash part, just like that. And then we're gonna write on it, just like that, using the blue marker. Cool. Then we're gonna put another layer on, just like that. Write on it again, using the blue marker. We're gonna do another layer. Boom, just like that. I'm using the blue marker again. Yeah, this looks simple enough, right? Now let's try this bad boy. Okay, so under a normal black light like this one, things tend to glow. For instance, this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights really quick. You see how this guy is basically getting really green and really bright because of this black light right here? This is what a black light should look like. Now I'm gonna take this away for a second. Okay, now let's try the flashlight on my phone. Yeah, I don't know about this one. He doesn't seem to have the same glowy effect as he did with the actual black light. So I don't know if this one actually actually works. I even have the brightness on my phone all the way up. Yeah, he doesn't seem to have the same brightness as the regular black light does. So, unfortunately, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this doesn't work. Oh, man! Okay, so here's the patch I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here on my backpack. Maybe right here, maybe? That's gonna cover it, though. How about we put it right here? That looks like a good spot. I'm just gonna flip this over. Yeah, right there. Then we get our hair straightener. I went ahead and set it to 430 degrees. That's how hot it goes. Now, uh, let's try it. I feel like it's just gonna end up burning the patch, personally, but I could be very wrong. Okay, here we go. I think it might actually be working. It seems to be staying on on this side. Is it working? I don't know. I'm gonna hold that down nice and tight. Make sure it's straight. Oh, I mean, it's very hot, but it doesn't look like it's staying on so far. Maybe I gotta get it hotter. Do I, am I supposed to let it dry afterwards? Oh, that's very hot. I'm gonna go ahead and use this oven safe glove to kind of help hold it down a little bit. Does the instructions say to let it cool down? It kind of looked like it just like made it good afterwards. Ow. Frick, my finger. Wow, that seems pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that cool down and we'll see if it works. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and this is looking like it's on there pretty good, actually. Like, it feels like it was almost sewn on. If I really wanted to, I could completely pull it off, but I feel like it's it's pretty much as good as the patch is gonna be. This is really good. So I guess we'll have to say this works. Okay, so here's our light. Now we gotta break it. This is a very strong light bulb. Holy crap. It actually bent the freaking metal before it broke the light bulb. Oh my gosh. Okay, one, two. How is this light bulb so freaking strong? What the heck? One, two. This is a very impressive light bulb. I think it might be because it's like an industrial bulb and it's meant for really high and low temperatures. But it was the only freaking bulb I had. Maybe if we break out the old knife. One, two, and... Holy crud. Oh my gosh, it's actually bending the tip of my knife. This is an impenetrable light bulb. Okay, I'm just really gonna go for it. One, two. Oh my gosh. How? I did not think it would be this hard to destroy a light bulb. One, two, and... Oh no, I broke in my light bulb. It's stuck in there. What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna get all these glass bits out because that's scary as heck. Look at that. Look how bent that is. That's how bent I had to make it just to get this freaking thing out. Okay, so now we have a problem. We can't get this out by pulling or twisting it. So what do we do? We get a bottle. 
And then we just kind of light this on fire, heat it up real good. Okay, then we put that in there. Let that cool a little bit. It's even twisting out already. Wow. That's cool. I mean, it doesn't stick to it like I thought it would, but it actually made it come out. Wow. So I guess we can say it works. Now I have glass all over my desk. Oh my gosh. Gotta clean this up. So I feel like I've tried this before, but you know what? Let's give it another go. So let's go ahead and write something right here. Here's our regular eraser. Not very good. Let's try a different one. It's looking like it didn't erase very well, even with the regular eraser. Now let's try the rubber band. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that around. Wrapping, 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 wrapping. Now let's give this a go, shall we? Oh man, that is making it so much like messier. Okay, yeah, that's very messy. It's uh, not looking too great. Does this pencil just not like to get erased or something? And here you have it. It looks like it did uh, a worse of a job than it did the actual eraser. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't really work that great. It kind of works, but it doesn't really work. So here's our bowl. Here's our baking soda. Put that in there. Yeah, that looks like it'll be enough. Can we put some warm water in there? Ooh, I think I might have put a little too much. Is that up? Yep, I definitely put too much. I'm just gonna put a little bit more baking soda. Because, you know, you can always fix things by adding other things to things to fix the things. That's not always how it works. But in this case, I feel like we got it up to the correct ratio. Wow, this looks like snow. It's kind of cool. This is so neat. Oh, yeah. So now it's time to put the stuff on my face. I'm actually wearing makeup right now so that I don't look as tired. But if you look at it, I have quite a few pores that are kind of just like clogged and stuff. This is what my nose looks like normally. It's very clogged, very pory. So this is before. And I'm even wearing makeup too, so that's really bad. So let's go ahead and put this on. Oh my god. How did they get this to stick on their face? Uh <laughs> What the heck even? Okay, come on. I believe you could stay on there. Okay, not bad. We got this stuff. I'm getting this everywhere. Okay, now stay on there. Ah, fell off. Come on. Okay, it looks good. How long am I supposed to leave this on for? And then I get a toothbrush and I just kind of scrub it. Oh, just lightly scrub it. Don't want to agitate my skin. Oh yeah, my nose definitely feels way cleaner. Oh man, maybe uh, dab some more of that on there. Oh yeah. This is gonna take off all my makeup. <laughs> I feel like my face is gonna look worse. Oh man, yep, oh yeah. Get all in there. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my face off now and uh, I'll show you guys the results. Okay, uh, and here we are. Wow, my face is really red. So as you can see, it took off all my makeup, so it's probably not a very good comparison, but I mean, how are my pores looking? Skin's very red. It doesn't look like it really did all that much, if I'm being totally honest. Yeah, this is kind of how my skin looked before. Oh my gosh. Yep, there's my scar. That's a scar that I got when I was like five years old. Oh man. So I'm gonna say that this one doesn't really work that great for me. It might work for someone else, but it didn't work very well for me. <laughs> Okay, so this one seems pretty simple, pretty subtle. Unfortunately, I don't have a normal kind of door where it just locks and then it does that. What is up with this echo? Oh my god. Hello! I'm in a cave! Someone help me! Okay guys, please ignore that echo. This is freaking crazy. Maybe if I open this door? Anyway, that's what my door does. It automatically closes. So I guess what we'll try and do is see if it'll stop it from closing. So here are our rubber bands. Here's a nice thick and big one. Put it over like this. And we're gonna cross it over like that. And then I don't really know how I'm gonna do this part. Maybe like that. Oh, I think it might be stopping it. Oh, it got stuck. I think it might actually be working. Is it freaking working? Can I close the door still? Oh, oh my gosh, it actually works. So we'll try it again. I just closed the lock. Close that. Now we just gotta wait for it to try and close again. It usually does it within 30 seconds. Oh. Did it close? Oh. We're able to open the door. It actually works. Wow. So I guess we can say it works. Okay, so this seems like a really interesting one. We got our Sharpie, we got our lighter. <laughs> Let's go ahead and light this on fire and see if it stays. Holy crap, it's actually working. How? It's kind of melting the actual Sharpie part though, uh, which is a little scary. Dude, that's actually really cool how it's staying lit like that. As you can see though, it is melting the tip. I'm gonna go ahead and put this out. Oh man. And apparently I can still write with this, so let's try it. Okay, here we go. Oh no, that is not a good sign. Okay. Oh, whoo, that is very crispy. Uh, it's not looking very good, guys. 
I think it might have messed up the Sharpie really bad. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good Sharpie. So I guess this one kind of works. It like half works. The first part worked, but the second part didn't work. So I guess I'm gonna say it kind of worked. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like we start off with some parchment paper. Don't need that. Okay, it looks good. Then we need to cut it down to size. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll fit in my mouth. Then who would have guessed that toothpaste would make your teeth whiter? Who would have known? Next, we're gonna get some baking soda. Oh man, that's a lot. I'm just gonna pour it on there. I'm gonna try to put that back, actually. I did not mean to pour out that much baking soda. Then you just kind of rub it all together. Oh man, this is weird. I don't like this. Did I have to do it like this? Like, do we have to do it with our fingers? Is that a requirement? If I don't do it with my fingers, is it not gonna work? These are the real questions I need to know. Oh man, uh, gross. Yeah, it looks like they did more of a smearing motion like this. Like, they kind of smeared it. Like they just kind of rubbed it. Put some more of this sweet, sweet white powder on. This is probably gonna taste really bad. Uh, Dude, I hate having stuff on my hands. This is so gross. Uh, okay, I need to wash my hands off. Okay, hands are all clean. Uh, let's clean this up a little bit. <laughs> Perfect. Now I just have uh, baking soda all over the rest of my desk. But as long as you guys can't see it, that's all that really matters. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put this monstrosity in my mouth. I think I may have made it a little too big. Uh, <gasps> oh, that is way too big for my face. Okay, we're gonna try it anyway. So, this is my teeth before. Yeah, there you go. Get a nice close-up of that. Okay, so this is my teeth before. Here you go. Oh man, I missed some parts of shaving and my lips are all chapped. I look so gross. Anyway, let's put this bad boy in. <laughs> this is way too big. Okay, I have to cut this down. I'm sorry. I was gonna put it in for comedic effect, but I don't think I can even manage it. It'll just look too ridiculous. Even this is too big. Baking soda tastes so weird. Oh, oh yeah, oh, 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 Okay, let's see how these bad boys look. Okay, so this is my teeth before. Now this is the after. What do you guys think? Does it look any different? I think it looks a little bit wider, personally. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it works. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. Do you guys wanna see something really cool? Man, this thing really packs a punch. Anyway, today we're doing some fun pranks. You guys seem to really like the last Trim Trim video where uh, I did a bunch of pranks on Lonnie, so that's what we're doing today. <laughs> Let's start with the first prank, shall we? Crush a new glass screen protector using a hammer and put it on the screen. I am giving the phone to Redhead. Oops, it falls. Oh no, the screen is broken into pieces. She will not be able to deal with this shame. Okay, this one looks pretty simple. All I need is my phone. This one actually already has a screen protector on it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try and rip it off. There we go. Now we need to crack this baby. Yeah, that's looking, uh, that's looking pretty cracked. Go ahead and put that back on our phone. Oh. oh man, now it's not sticking. Um, okay, let's see. I can try and tape it on. It's perfect. I don't think they'll ever tell that this is being held on with tape. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it all the way around too. There we go. And uh, I think I have done it. Yes, it is now the perfect prank. Look how many holes there are. I can't believe they dropped it and broke it. What a jerk. Oh man, what a wonderful day, Lonnie. Don't you agree? I agree, it's a, a day. Wow, do you wanna see something really cool on my phone? I would love nothing more. Uh, here you go. Okay, let me go. Oh, Lonnie! Lonnie, how dare you? Uh, Don't mind me, I'm just showing this camera that happens to be here. I can't believe you, you completely cracked my phone screen. I am in so much distress for upsetting my friend. Oh no, <laughs> I can't believe it's broken forever. Wait, let me try again, I won't mess up this time. Okay, I told you. Oh! You really need to learn how to hold things, my friend. Well, anyway, I have something else to tell you. What is that? This whole thing's a prank! <laughs> You've been pranked! I've been taken for a fool. Well, guys, I guess we could say this prank works! I take out a wireless mouse and controls my friend's laptop at a distance. I guess I will buy this dress. Redhead doesn't understand who picks out the dresses for her. It's just her cunning friend. Okay guys, so that's Lonnie sitting in his room over there. I have to think of a way to get him out of his room so I can put this USB thing in his computer. <gasps> I have the perfect plan. <gasps> Lonnie, oh my God, dude, your car's being stolen outside. No, oh heck, and no. Go get it, no. oh dude, go, go get him, go get him, dude. Oh my God, now's my chance. Oh, he 
has all of his US. Oh, one more USB is not taken. Perfect. Good to go. Hey, how's it? How's your car? Oh, it's fine. I got it back. I beat them up. Oh. Okay, that's good. I'm glad to. <laughs> okay, I'm glad to hear your car is acting. Well, it says right okay. here I need to set up my mouse. What's going on? <laughs> now back to my important business, making YouTube videos. This isn't going according to plan, even. I mean, sometimes it is, and just sometimes it isn't. Just seemingly willy nilly. How? I can't work under these conditions. What incarnation is going on? I thought I could trust you. Redhead has a revenge prank. She's taped the blue-eyed girl's phone to her notebook. Now, she will have a hard time to find it. The blue-eyed girl hears her phone ring, but doesn't understand where the sound comes from. How did it get here? Lonnie, someone's trying to steal your car again! Not again, you dirty thief! I can't believe you fell for it! <laughs> okay, guys, we have the tape, we have his phone. Let's do this. Just like that. Right there. It looks perfect. I don't think Lonnie will ever suspect it. What are you doing in here? I would have never suspected to find you here. Oh, hey, Lonnie. How's it going? Did you get the guy trying to steal your car again? Yeah, I beat him up again. Oh, wow. That's that's great. Okay, well, I, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Okay, you left your big roll of tape. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know why that's there. You can take it everywhere you go, I think. I do. Oh, no, Lonnie. Where's your phone? Where is it going? Wherever could your phone be? It was probably stolen like everything else I love. <laughs> Robbie. What? You were the thief the whole time. I did never do anything! I stole it! I've been framed! My phone's right there! How did he get there? I don't know! Alright, I believe you. Ah, you've been framed, Lonnie! Ah, oh, why did I believe you? So close. Lonnie, there was a camera right here! I pranked! You. What a fool I continue to be! Why? Also, also, guess what, Lonnie? There also was a camera right there! How did I miss that? Oh, oh! I got you! You got him! Pranked boy! I'm doing important stuff back here. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that Lonnie fell for that again. There's no way he could fall for it. A third time. <laughs> Lonnie, did you just tape yourself to the f***ing chair? What do I look like a dumb f you, What does that look like? Of course I did! Why did you tape yourself to the chair? You pranked yourself! <laughs> I don't even need you anymore. You're out of the equation. I don't need to do any work anymore. This whole channel is just gonna be Lonnie pranking himself. Look at this guy. He can't even escape. I'm so funny! Just wait till I get out of here. <laughs> How is Lonnie gonna get out of this one? Oh, he already did. What the anime is that? Cowboy Bebop? Wow, that was so <laughs> successful. It's like David Bowie used to, just like David Blaine. <laughs> I'm feeling Blaine. Sometimes I feel like leaving everything behind and just sinking my phone. This is what the blue eyed girl has done. Redhead sees the phone in water. Hurry up, it's sinking. But the device turns out to be soap. So here's our phone case. Here's our phone printout. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out really quick. Okay, don't need this anymore. Sweet, looks good. Then we need to tape these holes shut. You know what, I don't trust this tape. That's why I'm breaking out my Gorilla Tape. Okay, there we go. That looks a lot more sturdy. Then I gotta do these holes. There we go. That's way better. Next side, just like that. Okay, then we put this face down, just like that. Okay, now to melt the soap base. Okay, I will see you when you're melted. Okay, you're looking pretty boiled. Uh, let's go. Oh, I should probably turn off the stove first. Oops. Okay, here it is. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this in and hope it doesn't get all over everything. Okay, yeah, looks like we have the perfect amount. Okay, I will see you guys when this is all dry. This is looking pretty solidified. Uh, let's try and get this thing out without breaking it. Okay, not bad. Oh my gosh, this might be harder than I thought. Okay, come on. Please, 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 please don't break. Oh, it's coming out. It's coming out. You can do it. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. Not bad. Okay, now let's cut off some of the edges. Other side. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Wow. Okay, let's go try this out. Okay guys, so now we're in Lonnie's bathroom, so I have to be really quiet. So I have my fake phone. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it in the sink and then start calling Lonnie and tell him that I dropped my phone and ask him to help and see how he reacts. I also have this GoPro, so we have some extra angles on this as well. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I don't think Lonnie will ever suspect this. One. Two and... Oh! Lonnie! 
Claudia, I have dropped my phone in your sink. I need your help. Claudia, I dropped my phone in the sink. What do I do? <laughs> You're a freaking genius. <laughs> Look at my phone. Do you think it is ruined? Dude, I didn't know you had an iPhone. You can print. It's soap. Look how clean I'm getting with this soap. Dude, I knew the new iPhone XR wasn't that cool, but come on now. That's, that's, that does not do that. <laughs> it does. Steve. See? The iPhone XR now helps you clean yourself! Steve Jobs walked out of everything. Well, I guess we'd say it works! My friend is going to leave. I will sneak a little goodbye prank in her backpack. Once Redhead leaves, I turn on a loud sound of explosion. Poor Redhead! No more prank wars from now on. Okay, yeah, so first we need to put this Bluetooth speaker in this backpack. Because this is Lonnie's backpack. I can't believe that actually worked last time. I wonder if it'll work a third time. Oh my god, Lottie! Someone stole your car again! What are we gonna do? I'm just gonna call the cops this time. No, Lottie! Oh, um, no, 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 it's gonna be a long trip! Bring your backpack! I'll bring no, my backpack! Be free! For no reason! I'll freaking get you, you hoodlum. Swear to. Lottie, guess what? You've been pranked! I pranked you! You have been pranked! <laughs> Good one, dude. I'm PTSD now. You're not anywhere! You're right! I was pranked. That's all. Well, guys, I guess we can say it works! Can you drive me to the hospital? <laughs> okay, guys, now it's everyone's favorite part where we recreate the thumbnail! Woo! So we already made our weird soap phone thing. Um, let's go ahead and put some suds on it. There's a bowl of water. I just dip it in there. Then I gotta get it all sudsy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it sudsy, actually. It's just really slippery. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna work. I'm gonna go get some soap. Okay, so I couldn't find any real soap, but I found the shaving cream. Maybe that'll work. So, uh... <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's working great. This looks so weird. I'm gonna wipe some of the screen off so you can kind of see it a little better. You can't see it at all. There we go. Maybe put a little bit more shaving cream on my hand. Oh, there we go. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Oh man, this is such a mess. Ugh. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's see this fight right down there. If you guys want to watch me doing more fun pranks online, you can click the video right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want this shirt, some stickers, or any of my other merch, you can click right here or down the description down below. Okay, guys, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi Fi. Awkward adding. Okay, bye. Ah!